Hello, welcome to this week's problem of the week. Uh, for this problem, uh, we're trying to find the maximum value of x plus y, um, given that x squared plus y squared minus 3y minus 1 is equal to 0. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at um, uh, this given equation, uh, x squared plus y squared minus 3y minus 1 equal to 0. Um, so now, with this equation, uh, we look at y squared uh, minus 3y. Um, so we can see that uh, we can make this a square. Um, if we take um, half of 3 and square it, um, we, want, we want this to be a nice square expression to match the x squared. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, half of this term and square it um, and see what the result is. Um, so we have y squared minus 3y here, um, and we take half of 3, uh, square that. Uh, 3 half squared is equal to 9 fourths. And so if we add 9 fourths to this expression, um, we can get, um, or we can take the square root of it and then square that. Um, so we have y minus 3 halves uh, squared equal to this expression. And we want to put uh, this into this expression. Um, so we're going to add uh, 9 fourths to both sides. Uh, so all we've done here um, is we've added 9 fourths to both sides. Um, intentionally, uh, we combine like terms on the left side um, because we wanted to keep uh, this square expression here. Um, so we added 1 to the right side, and we see that x squared uh, plus y minus 3 halves squared um, is equal to 13 fourths. Um, so as you can see, um, this equation um, is the equation for a circle um, in x squared plus y squared equal to r squared form. Um, and so uh, we look at this expression we have, um, x squared um, plus y minus 3 halves squared equal to 13 fourths. So we see that um, r squared is equal to 13 fourths. So we have the radius of a radical 13 over 2. Um, and then we have y minus 3 halves. Um, so the center of the circle is that uh, has a value of 3 halves for y. And x squared um, is just x squared. So our radius is at 0, 3 halves. So we'll just write down all this information uh, that we can gather from this equation. Um, so now that we have this information, um, we can um, plug in a value for x and y. Um, so x uh, has a, so the circle's radius of radical 13 over 2. So we can set x is equal to um, radical 13 over 2 um, cosine of theta. Um, and we have um, y equal to radical 13 over 2 uh, sine of theta plus 3 halves uh, because the circle is centered at 0, uh, 3 halves. Uh, so we'll just write down uh, that information. Um, and then we'll plug it into the equation that we're trying to maximize. Uh, so what we've done here um, is we've just taken um, x equal r cosine theta um, and y equal r sine of theta, plugged in the value of r, and we sum them together. So we have x plus y equal to radical 13 over 2 cosine theta plus radical 13 over 2 sine of theta plus 3 over 2. I'm going to simplify this a little bit more uh, so we can try to optimize uh, this expression. Uh, so in this expression, we have um, x plus y equal to 3 over 2 plus radical 13 over 2 times sine of theta plus cosine of theta. Uh, so we want to figure out how to maximize this. Um, so to do that, uh, we'll take the first derivative of sine of theta plus cosine of theta and set that equal to 0. Uh, so we take the derivative of sine of theta plus cosine of theta. Um, we find that um, negative sine of theta plus cosine of theta is equal to 0. Um, so we set uh, sine and cosine of theta equal to each other. So you find that theta can be either pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4. Um, but if we have 5 pi over 4, um, this expression becomes negative. Uh, so we will plug in 
uh, pi over 4 as theta, because uh, that'll maximize this expression and thus the value of x plus y. Uh, so we plug in um, theta equal to pi over 4 um, for sine and cosine, or for this, ex this expression, excuse me. Um, and we find that um, both of these are equal to a radical 2 over 2. Um, so we have 3 halves plus radical 13 over 2 uh, times radical 2 over 2 times 2. Um, this cancels out, um, so just being equal to radical 2. As so we multiply a radical 2 by radical 13, we find that x plus y is equal to 3 halves plus 26 halves, um, which can be simplified to uh, radical 26 plus 3 over 2, uh, which is the maximum value of x plus y given the parameters. Uh, thank you so much for watching this week's problem of the week. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our website, centerofmath.org. Thank you.